Sup, y'all. So, it's been a minute. Um, last y'all saw me was the Dallas vlog. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk. up y'all so I've been avoiding making this video for many reasons um sup y'all so it's been a minute um last y'all saw me was the Dallas vlog um okay I obviously don't know how to film anymore because this is my third time making this I wanted to do like a thought out sit down video so I didn't forget everything but if we're gonna be real this is just gonna be a ramble um, it is what? Wednesday, January 18th. You guys have not heard from me on this platform in a hot fucking minute. Um, basically, let's start. Okay. So, you guys saw me last in Peak Week. We guys saw the Dallas vlog, but Peak Week was really the last time I talked to you guys. Um, right after that, I had Mid-American. Right after Mid-American, I lost my camera. It has been found. The show promoter found it, and he's going to send it to me, but I did have a little mental breakdown after that, if I'm going to be honest, because Hector was backstage all day filming, like, all this content. So I'm going to get that video up for you guys when I get it, but right now I was just like, okay, like, you can't be ghost on YouTube forever. Um, and then after that, we had Battle of Texas, and right, right after that was the Olympia Amateur. There's going to be no video on the Olympia Amateur just because I didn't have a videographer, and the last thing I'm thinking about is vlogging on show day. Like, that's just not my priority. And after that, I just kind of stopped making content on a lot of platforms because I had to. I don't know. Like, I got to a point where at the end of prep, I kind of realized that I was sacrificing like, the enjoyment of my own journey and my first prep, and honestly just, like, my headspace for content. And sometimes I just got to a point where I was just exhausted of filming every single fucking thought I had, and I just wanted to enjoy it with my friends and family, because after the Olympic Amateur that was on a Tuesday, all the dark sport girls flew in that weekend for um, the actual Olympia, and I just wanted to spend time with them. My family came out to see me, and then I went home for Christmas, and then my immediate family went to Mexico for New Year's, and I just needed time to just chill. I don't know. I've talked about this before, but... I needed to take off time from training um, because I just didn't want to resent it. I talked about the fact that, whatever, so last year started off with Sam's passing, right, because she died in November, and a lot of my training sessions last year were really just, okay, I can't, you guys, I, uh, <laughs> I finally figured out my Apple Watch and connected it to my phone. And it beeps every two seconds. I don't know if people do this. But anyways, I didn't want to resent it. Like, so many of my training days last year were mind over matter, and I just wanted a chance to miss it again. Um, what I did post-show is not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to have a vacation, like, right after your show. Did I put on more weight than I probably should have post-show? Yeah. Um, and honestly, that's another reason why I wasn't posting. Because you know you're going to gain weight post-show. You know it's healthy for you to... It's not healthy for you to be that fucking lean. Like, you're aware of that. But it's... No matter who you are, it's a mind fuck to see your body change so fucking quickly. Um, and I just needed a chance to, like, figure out how I was feeling without the internet telling me a bunch of things, right? I talked about this on Instagram, too. Like, it's a lot easier to talk about things once you've already gone through them, not as you're going through them. And, like, throughout December when I wasn't posting, I just kind of had like, not an epiphany, but I really realized that I sacrificed my mental health for content way too often. And obviously, I built my platform because I share every waking thought with you guys, but I'm just kind of at a point where I'm trying to figure out what I want to share, how much I want to share of it, just because I can't keep doing this. And if I want to do this long term, like be able to not want to stab myself on the internet, I have to figure out a balance for me. So obviously I can't just like take a month off like whenever I decide, but that's what I did in December. I just needed the chance to chill and I don't know, just not be posting every two seconds basically. 
Um, so that's kind of where I've been. I'm waiting on my camera. Once that's up, the Mid-American video will go up. I do want to get back on YouTube, but like I said, I wanted to make this like a nice sit-down video that wasn't rambly, but the reality is it's just not going to get up if I do that. So, this is what you get today. Um, oh, other news, I don't know if you guys saw this on Instagram, I'm now a Hustle Harder coach. My wait list is closed now, but that's what I've been doing ever since I got back, was just getting my life together, honestly, and going through all those applications, reaching out to people. Um, so that's also been a big, like, shift for me right now, is just getting through all those applications and just pretty much being on my computer <laughs> all day every day um but everybody's gonna get a response I said this on TikTok and on Instagram everybody who has applied will get a response by this Friday so it's Wednesday so we're trying to get through them as we speak that's what you guys just saw me doing um emailing some inquiries back and forth stuff like that um but yeah I don't know other news oh the feedback from my shows I know a lot of people want to know glutes like not shocking uh, <laughs> basically just making sure the back side of me matches the front side of me um so now I'm down to two leg days I get one squat on my Monday leg day and then everything else is just straight glutes and hamstrings so yeah I don't know I'll share more of my training once I really know what's going to be in my program I'm kind of figuring out like what I want to put in it right now um but once that's all figured out, I'll make more work workout content. Once I have my big camera, I can make more workout content. But yeah, that's just kind of my update of where I've been, sort of. Um, I was literally in Chicago for four days in December, and I got back not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before. So we're just getting things together and just figuring out like what I want my content to be. And I don't know. I'm just kind of in a space where I'm like, mm, what's next? Um, other news, I took my first Orange Theory class yesterday. A lot of you were confused when I said I was going to start doing that. I'm just using it, like, once or twice a week just to kind of, like, switch things up and, like, replace my cardio. I'm still training. I'm not, like, Orange Theory is not my main method of training. Like, it's really just cardio to me. Um, so I did that class yesterday. Honestly, that was kind of an L because I trained legs. I squatted on Monday. And then I ran for the first time in literal years. Um, yesterday, my adductors are in pain. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of getting my life together and figuring out what the fuck I'm doing here. But I'm like, mm, let's vlog. Maybe what I eat in a day? I don't know. We'll, we'll do something like that. I haven't figured out what this video is going to be, but I haven't ate yet, so I guess I could probably do that. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just going through applications right now and drinking my coffee. I don't know. I might give a more in-depth update at some point. I might not, but that's just kind of where I am with content, is just kind of figuring out what I want to do, what I want to share, and finding the balance between it all, if that makes sense. Balance girly, if you will. But yeah, I'm still tracking macros, still going to the gym, still drinking my water, still drinking my coffee. So that's what that is. I'll talk to you guys once I make breakfast, meal one, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'll show you guys how I make the next meal, but this is literally just rice that I made. It's in Tupperware. I cook, I do my rice cooked. I use the same, like, jasmine rice, USDA. Cooked entry my fitness pal for years. I just do rice, egg whites, peppers, and all of the sugar-free ketchup. Um, I've had this literally every morning since um, I got back from Mexico, so I don't know. This is what it looks like, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. Um... Your girl went to the gym yesterday, and then I ran out of space in my memory card, so I filmed, like, maybe two exercises. And then I went on live, and I'm gonna just be real. Some stranger called me fat, and I lost it again. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. And then I just didn't want to film for the rest of the day, because I was just not in the vibe. Um, I think I mentioned on Monday I did film, like, a get ready with me video. I just... I don't really know what that footage looks like, so I might just do a little, like, let's have some coffee this morning, and I'll update you on, like, where the fuck I've been, possibly. Um, but we're going to Orange Theory this morning, so we're going to be a little Orange Theory girly. So I'm going to do a little skincare, have some coffee. I might have a little oatmeal because I'm hungry already this morning. And then we'll go to Orange Theory. Then we have some errands to go and run to do today, and then later tonight, we will hit a push day. I just bought this my cellar water because y'all told me to get it, so, I don't know. I kind of liked it instead of, like, actually cleansing my face in the morning. Because I don't know where, but I heard you're, like, not supposed to be there. I don't really know. 
Um, and then this is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep uh, Cleanser. You guys also told me just put this in my hands and not a cotton pad, so. So what I do now, I just kind of like press it into my skin. Also, you guys. So, if you have been following me, um, okay, and I'm putting this shit on. It's Sunday Riley, it's like vitamin C serum. So, if you guys follow my Instagram, you guys know I kind of put, I like in front of my prep faces, and there's that one face of me in Alpha Land, and I put it on a shirt as a joke, and y'all were like, no, we'd buy it. And then the other day I was on live, and somebody decided to make an account to tell me how much I suck at training glutes. I blocked them, so then they created an account called Kenzie Can't Train Glutes. And so, you know, I'm not gonna let that joke die. So I'm like, mm, what if I put that my face on that shirt with, like, and it says, hashtag Kenzie Can't Train Glutes, right? Like, can't let the joke die. But I'm like, okay, like, I have a couple contracts right now that I just had to make sure that they, like, for some odd reason were in, like, violation of. So I had to check with that, and we're all good on that front. So I hit my friends that have done this shit before. I'm like, um, like, how do you, uh, uh, like, make merch? This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I don't see any more of this. I should get more of this today. Um, and you guys know Leo from TikTok? Uh, Leo let me know fucking everything. I knew he'd have the answers. So I also want to look into that today, figure out how I can get some samples so I can sell my Kenzie Cantrain Glue shirt. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I need to get dressed, make some coffee. And yeah, I don't know, you guys. I guess I could tell you right now, like, I don't fucking, I'm in a weird place with TikTok. Like, I just don't know what to fucking do anymore. Like, that app honestly makes me feel shitty about myself more than anything. And that's honestly why I took a break at the end of, like, after my show. Like, I don't know. I think I got to a point in prep where I was definitely sacrificing my own mental sanity for, um, my own mental sanity for content. And that's why I kind of took that break. And then I came back and I thought I'd oh, be all rested and, like, okay, ready to make content. And I'm still, like, what the fuck do I do here? So, I don't really know, you guys. Like... It's just kind of been a lot, a lot, but I'm getting my life together. I'll do a little coffee and sit down chat in a second, just because I feel like we even talked, and I'm just not really feeling like editing that other video. I'd rather just get this one up, so I don't know. And my voice is still kind of, uh, I was sick last week. It's a whole thing. We'll talk, okay? It's orange as fucking here for no reason, but anyways, I just made two Nespresso pods, put Splenda in it, and then put... Coffee Mate's in my fridge. It's Coffee Mate, Zero Sugar, Chocolate Caramel Creamer, Fire. And then in my little frother that just warms my milk, I have my cashew milk. And I will have this for this Orange Theory class. Orange Theory to me is, it's really just cardio to me because I'm going to go and hit a pull day later. I think I'm going to try to make a die on mine because they have my show day picture up there and I haven't seen it in person yet. Um, but yeah, I want to drink this, chat a bit about where I've been, because honestly, I don't want to edit that other video. I know I'm a piece of shit, it's fine. Delicious. Okay, let's chat. <clears throat> okay, I put my little light on. We have my coffee. It is 6.31, I need to be out of here by 7, because the glass is at 7.30. But we're going to give a little synopsis as to why Kenzie hasn't been on YouTube, where she's been. So let's start off with the last time you saw me was peak week. Peak week was a mind fuck in itself because I thought I was about to pull to my show like six days out because I had such bad digestion issues. My body stopped digesting chicken and I can insert some photos, videos here or something. But y'all, I was, it was insane. Like my body just like blew up with gas and I was like carrying what the fuck. And then I remember back to a conversation I had with one of my friends who competes and she's like, dude, like I stopped digesting chicken. And then I asked Carrie, because I thought of that conversation, and I was like, shit, like, is there any chance that it might be chicken? She's like, let's try it. So we took that out and put white fish in instead, and then I ended up being fine. But for Mid-American, Mid-American wasn't my favorite look at all. Like, I wasn't happy with how I looked at Mid-American. Like, it was fine, but I knew it wasn't my best. Like, I felt, like, a lot better about four weeks out. So then after Mid-American, I went to Dallas, and I literally lost eight pounds that week. I truly think it was just stress, because the stress of my first show was gone. Um, I talked about this a lot on TikTok. A lot of my feelings post-show just have to do with, like, how it's perceived by the outside world, which I know is dumb, but it's just the reality because I filmed my entire prep and me just getting lean as fuck for y'all, and now I look normal again. People are like, hey, you're fat as fuck, and I'm like, thanks. Um, 
And honestly, just like the pressure of my first show being here and whatever, you get comments from people when you have a TikTok following. Like you just get little petty comments here and there. And even if I didn't think it affected me, like subconsciously, I think it did. So whatever, I lost eight pounds going to Dallas, super lean going into Dallas. They ended up wanting me fuller, which is fine. So then we ate into um, the amateur. Um, am I happy I did three shows in 10 days? Yes. Would I ever do it again? Probably fucking not. I don't think I was prepared for what 10 shows in three days is going to do to me mentally because by the time I got off the plane in Vegas, I was like, this shit's just for fun. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm not even supposed to say this. Like, there's not, there wasn't a part of me that was like, yeah, like, we're getting a pro card today. Like, I was just like, we're doing this shit for fun because I've stressed myself out too much through this entire prep. Like, we're just doing my dance routine on stage for the last time. And when we got to the amateur, the amateur, we just did it because I was going to be there with Dark Sport anyways and just like get, like, basically national stage experience. I got backstage, I saw these bitches, I was like, yeah, this shit's for sure, just for fun, like, no fucking way. Um, I thought I was gonna get dead last, like, no cap, like, in my class, I was like, where did you bitches come from? Like, what the fuck is this? Um, and I didn't, I got 9th out of 11th, so, um, I was in second call and they brought me in, I was so happy that they brought me in, um, from, like, the very end, I was like, brought in a little bit more. Um, so that was that, and then I was in Vegas, and I made a video on TikTok about it. I was like, I know this is like the time, like in any creator's head, it's like, I'm lean, I'm partying with other influencers. Like this is the best time for content and engagement if you're gonna be honest, right? How many times can I say if I'm being honest? Um, but I just didn't want to fucking film. Like I was just sick of making content for fucking everything. I just wanted to live. Like I just wanted to enjoy time with my friends and family. And I kind of took a bit of like a TikTok break. Whenever I take social media breaks, it's never Instagram. Instagram is never the problem. It's always TikTok. Um, and I took some time off TikTok. Then I went to, uh, um, I went home for, in Wisconsin for Christmas. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I was just like really fucking puffy like I am now. Um, and just like wasn't really feeling good. And then we went to, uh, um, Hawaii, which not Hawaii. I'm going to there. I'm going there soon. Just we'll get there. Um, I'm going to, we went to Mexico. Mexico is where me and my family went. And honestly, I think a lot of my anxiety around that was just the fact that I had to be in a swimsuit again, but I was just like, whatever, like enjoy this time, Kenzie. Um, it was super fun. It was the first time that me and my family had gone on vacation since my brother was like an actual adult. Like last time we went on vacation, he was 12. So it was fun to just like be adults and like go on an adult vacation with my family. So we did that, came back to Chicago. When I came back to Chicago, well actually let's even go back even more. So when I was in Vegas, I finally got to announce that I'm a Hustle Harder coach. That's been in the works for a hot fucking minute now, but we finally announced it. So at that point, people could sign up for my wait list. So then when weeks later, when I came back from Mexico, I went through my wait list applications. No part of me expected there to be like 750 applications. So when I got back to Chicago, I was just going through those applications, getting back to people, like onboarding people, just like getting through all these fucking applications. I'm finally through them now. I feel a lot better. When it comes to being on plan, I fucking haven't been. I'm going to be honest. Um, that's also why I've only been talking on TikTok, because how am I going to tell y'all what to do when I haven't been doing my own shit? So like, I'll be on plan and then I'm off. But this week I told Kerrigan, I was like, yeah, I'm like officially sick of my shit. Like at this point, I'm only going to gain more weight if I don't listen to you. So it's time to listen to you. Um, I'm up like 25 ish pounds since my show, which it is what it is. Like at this point, me and Kerrigan are like, we're not going to put you back into a deficit because it's just going to fuck with your head even more and you're just not going to follow it. And I just need to mentally have food and I just need to get over this like adjustment period. I've talked about this a lot on TikTok, just about like how I'm feeling because I'm adjusting to, like, the thing about post shows, your body just changes so fucking quickly. It's not like regularly you, whatever, you're just tracking your macros and you have an off meal. Like, that off meal is going to do a lot more to you when you're that lean than when you have more body fat on you and your calories have been higher for a longer amount of time. Um, and it's just kind of like a giant mind fuck, but it's also a giant mind fuck when you're trying to like navigate it, but then the internet is telling you a bunch of things. It's just like, it's easy for me to give advice on things that I've already been through, not things I'm currently going through. So like when I am not really that happy with how I look, my body looks right now. And then I pop online and there's like six people telling me that I'm, I'm fat and I gained this and I'm this and I suck. It's like, it can only not get to you for so long until it fucking gets to you. And I'm the type of person where I bottle everything up. So then like one comment, like will just like send me over the fucking edge. And then I just don't want to post anymore. Cause I just, I don't know. And then I also just don't feel like I know what I'm posting. I feel like I don't know what content to make anymore. 
Um, this is my like ramble of just like where I've been when it comes to content and YouTube. Now, YouTube itself. If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok, you know that I left my camera at Mid American and it has taken a minute for me to get that camera back. One of the judges has it and she's bringing it to this gym that my friend Phil, y'all know Phil on YouTube, that he, uh, his parents live by. So when he's up there, he's going to grab it for me. So I'm hopefully like, hopefully by the end of this week, I will have my camera with me and then I'm going to be able to film more things. Um, and I'll have a Mid American video. Once I get that SD card, I'm sending it all to Jacob and being like, make me a video because y'all know I'm not editing that shit. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Last week I was sick. This week it's my fucking 25th birthday. Like, I don't know. That doesn't even make sense either. But, I don't know. We're just kind of getting back, still getting back into things. Like, now that all my applications are through, like, I have a lot more time throughout the day to, like, work and, like, actually do this part of my job. Um, but, yeah, that's where we're at. In, like, three weeks I am going to Hawaii. And then after that is the Arnold. Um, so I'm going to go to the Arnold. I'll be there. But it's just been... It's been an adjustment, but at this point, I'm like, okay, Kenzie, like, I really don't even care how you feel. Like, just shut the fuck up. Um, so we're going to Orange Theory this morning. We're going to get our cardio done. Later, we're going to go and do a little pull day. And then I need to do, like, some shopping today. So you're going to see me at a mall because y'all know I'm not going to be in Chicago. We're driving to the suburbs to get our ass to a mall. Um, so we'll do that later today, but I don't know. I feel like this is just easier to um, tell y'all tell you guys like what has been going on in Kenzie's head rather than the other video I made. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't want to edit it. I hate sit, like editing sit down videos. Like just staring at myself for like 45 minutes is just like not my favorite thing. Like sometimes I'm like, can I just stop looking at myself all the time? Damn. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. So we're gonna go to Orange Theory, we're like leaving like 20-ish minutes and we'll go to Orange Theory and I'll talk to you probably when we get there, I don't know. All right, sup y'all, we did it. We went to class. It was good, I ran. I ran at double digits. I didn't know the number that Joe was yelling the instructor the entire time. She kept the same double digits. I didn't know what she was talking about, but she meant my speed. So I did a little sprinty sprint in my running girl era. Um, yeah, now we're gonna go home and eat food, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Bye. Sup y'all. Okay, wait, that didn't zoom in as soon as I did that. Maybe I fixed something, I don't know. Um, we're back from Orange Theory. I forgot that I have a lash appointment at noon, so I might go shopping tomorrow because tomorrow's a rest day. I'm going to do Orange Theory at 8.30 tomorrow morning, so I just get my cardio out of the way. But yeah, we're going to make my breakfast, which is the same shit every fucking day, which is the two eggs, egg whites, rice. I'm going to do oatmeal. I don't know. We'll see what my vibe is. So we're going to make some breakfast. I'll show you what I eat. And then we're going to figure out that shirt thing, do a couple check-ins that have already came in this morning, and then we'll go to... We're gonna like shower up because I'm like sweaty gross. Then I'll go to Mel's and then later I'll go on train push, I think. I don't know, but maybe I will. It's just really fucking cold out, which I know that's just what it is in winter, but it's just hard to want to leave my home when I don't really have to, if that makes sense. But I do need an outfit for Friday. I still don't know what I'm doing Friday. I haven't made really that many plans, just the fact that I know I'm going out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I did, I got a picture with the board at Orange Theory because I ran a 10 mile per hour on my like, my all out. I, I really don't understand the terminology the entire time I'm there. I'm like, what'd you say? Like, I don't do anything right. Like, I, I like don't understand like all the technology part of it, but we got cardio done and then we'll do a pull later. I'll probably walk on a treadmill too, just cause I've really been getting as many steps because I've been in the house. So... Yeah, we're gonna make breakfast and I'll show you that. Okay, we're making our peppers and we're on live with the girlies. Um, I've never been to Berries, so I cannot compare it to that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, say hi everyone. This is what I do when I want to have human interaction that's not really human interaction. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a little better now. I don't know. At this point, it's like the time's gonna pass. I can either make it worse or we can work, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah. All right, y'all, lighting is trash in here, but it's fine. I went on live for like an hour and a half. I didn't even show you guys what I ate. I had two eggs, 100 grams of egg whites, like 150 grams of cooked veggies, 30 grams of oats, and like 10 grams of peanut butter. Um, right now, I am finishing up. I just have like three check-ins today, so I had two girls that sent those in. Finishing those up. Basically, um, what I do when I don't know what the fuck to post, but I need to post on Instagram, 
just for like consistency purposes, I just go on CapCut and like try to find <laughs> some sort of template that I can put some shit together. So I'm doing that right now, trying to find what I want to use. Um, I have to leave to get my lashes done in like 15 minutes. So you guys will see Mel in a bit. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my pre-workout meal with me, which is going to be beef and rice. So then I can go to the gym right afterwards because y'all know once I get back in my home, I don't want to leave. So if I'm already out getting lashes, then I can go to the gym, hit a pull day, then I can come back, eat, and then I'll do the rest of my computer work in my home where it's warm. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow just because I it's a rest day tomorrow and I have some stuff I want to get done on my computer today. I've been trying to go shopping all week, but I'm like, mmm. Because it's also, it's like the time I want to go where we're going to hit traffic, it's like a whole situation. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'll show you guys my t-shirts when I like make those later. I don't know if this is going to be a weekly vlog or what it's going to be. I still don't know what I'm doing for my birthday yet. So I should probably figure that out. I told my friends about this. we're doing something Friday. They know that they have something to do with me. We just don't really know what that is yet. So I'm going to figure that out. Um, and yeah. Okay, shocker. I'm running late. We are going to come back here to eat afterwards and then we'll go to the gym and I'll just park my car in front of my apartment like I always do. So we're going to get our lashes done now so that's the update. Alright y'all, not the air freshener in the pick. So I got my lashes done, just a little tweak, it literally took like less than 30 minutes. Um, I didn't really need my lashes done but we're like, it's your birthday, why not? Um, and then, uh, I think on Friday, me and Mel just decided, she's like, instead of like doing, because last year like a party at my house I was like I just want to get like a table at this one bar that I like going to and literally it's just the two of us I was like I don't want to wait in line I don't want to have to talk to no crusty ass dude to get drinks like boss moves only so I was like fuck let's just get a table somewhere um and then we both decided well I was like we could do dinner Friday but all the time it's like I have a heavy ass birthday dinner and then it's like oh we're gonna go out now I just feel like heavy and shit so I think I'm gonna go to dinner like tomorrow night or just like wait till Polina comes back and like do that another night because I'm just not trying to go to dinner and then go out um which is what I normally would do um it's like one o'clock now like quarter to one um I'm gonna go home and eat I think part of me wants to go to Akira right now I'm like mmm do I go to Akira today or do I go tomorrow what does a girly do do I go to mode later so many things that are up in the air for Kenzie right now so I'll talk to you when I talk to you because I just don't know what I'm doing presently. Okay, update. She made a decision. There was an Akira like eight minutes from me. So we're at Akira right now. See what they have. If I don't find anything here, then I'll just go to like an actual mall tomorrow. So we're going to do this, then go home, eat, then go to the gym. So she finally made up her mind. So we're going to see what Akira has. Okay, this top would need double-sided tape. This isn't necessarily a birthday fit, but I'm not mad at it. I know it's kind of weird trying on clothes with my normal body again. I would need to like double-sided tape this, but... Because this comes with this cute jacket that I'm getting in a different size. It's a little cropped moment. Imagine the vision. Do you see it? Okay, ignore my hair. This is not something I picked out. I think it's cute for someone else that's not me. I don't know. It's kind of giving LeBron James. A little bit. I don't know. Okay, y'all. We went to Akira and we actually found some things. Do I know if I'm wearing this for my birthday yet? No, but the things that I would wear regardless. It's, this is a very Kenzie haul. Um, here's the bag. Akira. Y'all know. This is where I get like most of my going out clothes. I don't know. I tried the purple fit. It just like wasn't me. I'm like, okay, this will look so great in somebody else. Just not Kenzie. And of course, I got to overshare at the sales associate. I'm like, okay, little background. I'm a bodybuilder. Did a show in December. Gained some weight not really comfortable in my current body just trying to be a confident girly so i'm not trying to squeeze into my old clothes he's like okay i got you and i just can't i need to be like yeah i'm wearing this so everything i got is very kenzy so first thing you haven't seen i got these boots because they were on sale for 20 bucks i don't know just some like platforms and they're comfy so i thought those were a nice going out heel i'll wear those at some point in time this top i don't know if i'm gonna wear this but y'all y'all know i love camo okay it's a little corset and i have enough fat in my boobs where i can like take tape and like get a little bit of something maybe so this little top i thought that was cute i'll wear it at some point if i don't wear it for my birthday i'll wear it some other time and then i got basically the same thing um just different i like this one better with the fit you guys saw this because i bought some boob tape what the fuck like oh because it's upside down kenzie it's like this she's a little moment and she covers all of me so she makes me feel a little more comfy um i'm not really into a whole lot of 
skin showing and then you guys saw the pants i literally have these when i went to vegas and i wore that like kind of camo fit these are the same style pants but these are just kind of like a pleather moment and i'll wear these whatever that jacket like it fit but with my arms it was just like oh so i didn't get it because i was just like i'm not spending 90 dollars on a jacket that like doesn't even fully work as a jacket and then these tops i always get from akira it's just like a sheer long sleeve it's gray and you can wear like a bra underneath it i don't know just regular bodysuit I knew I'd wear that at some point in time. And then I got some boob tape. And then their accessories are always buy one, get one half off. So then I was like, fine, whatever. We'll just get a pair of hoops. Um, just because I can never have too many hoops. So that was that. We'll do the rest of my shopping tomorrow. Um, by the rest, I mean like, see if I like this, see if I need something else. Maybe do a little shopping for Hawaii because tomorrow's a rest day. I'm going to take an 8.30 a.m. Um, orange theory class, and then I'll do that tomorrow. Today, right now, we're gonna eat some beef and rice, get our asses to the gym, do a pull day, walk on the treadmill for a bit, and then come back home, shower, and be home for the day. This is like the most I've been out of my house in multiple days. Um, and then we're gonna do that little shirt designing, finish up some work on my computer, and just do what I do every fucking day in my house. So that's what's happening now. All right, it is time to make our intro workouts. Um, I could tell y'all, I'm gonna film at the gym. I'm not filming at the gym. Y'all know I hate filming at the gym. I don't like it. I'm not good at it. It makes me uncomfortable because I don't, when I have my big camera, my big tripod, I can make it like a filming day. But I'm just not about that life right now. So water, this is not really that different. Um, now, instead of 15 grams of Gatorade powder, I do 20 grams. Just the regular Gatorade powder. A lot of people ask me if it's a zero sugar. No, we want the carbs. We want the carbs during our lift. So we're gonna do 20 grams of this. Come on, 20. Period. Um, and then I will also do um, my creatine. Where, where is she? I've been using the Buff Chick creatine. They sent me some stuff in like November. Um, if you don't know, now you know, I'm no longer with Weijin, there's not really beef, it's just, I don't feel like they matched my brand and nothing was ever in stock, so I kind of felt bad telling y'all to buy shit when you can buy it, you know, it's kind of weird. Um, that, and then we're gonna put, I've had enough caffeine today, so we're just gonna do the pump, I like this flavor, it's the icy blue Raz flavor of the Buff Chick Buff Pump, so we're gonna put a scoop in there, and then we're gonna add some salt, so we can get a nasty pump, and also salt is good for you. You need the electrolytes. Put salt in whatever the fuck you drink during your workout. And then I'll start to drink this 30 minutes before, and then also something that's new to my plan is Kerrigan told me to take four caps of this Revive Calm. I take four caps pre-workout, and then four of them before bed. Four is just like the serving size. So I'm gonna start to drink this, and then I like to have that finished before my last two exercises. No matter what the day is, we're gonna hit a little pull day, walk on the treadmill. I don't know, you might say hi to someone there. I didn't charge another battery, because this one's like almost dead. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll have Hector and Phil if they're there right now. Say some words to the vlog. But we're gonna take these. I already have my work going on. I'm just wearing this cropped shirt with some joggers. I'm gonna put some Jordans on and that will be the
actually filmed some clips of the gym, so major Sly Kenzie. Right now, I'm going through, I have a couple girls that sent some videos of them at the gym, so, like, basically form feedback. And then I'm just finishing up. This is beef, rice, some, like, microwave veggies, and a little bit of guac. I have, like, 100 carbs left to eat, which a lot of people are like, oh my god, it's, like, almost 6, it's 6 o'clock, like, that's so much food. How am I going to eat that? No, we're going to find a way. And, honestly, is it ideal that I'm behind in my meals right now? No. Am I happy about it? Yeah, I am. What a. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I might show you my other meals later. I'm gonna make pancakes. I've been making those, so I'll actually show you that, guys those. I've just been doing birch benders, protein powder. Then I've ended up having a lot of fats at the other night, so then I'll have peanut butter and sugar syrup. That's been my like macro recipe of the night as of late since my carbs are a little higher right now. Um but yeah, so that's what we're doing. I don't I'm really just finishing up work. I'm gonna shower and then chill for the rest of my night. So that's Kenzie's day. I might make another TikTok. I don't know. I'm in a weird place with TikTok, but I'm kind of just like posting whatever the fuck I want at this point. I don't know. It just gets annoying sometimes to like always be like coming up with some new fucking way to get people to want to go to the gym. And it, sometimes it just feels so fake. And I'm just in my car and I'm like, okay, what think piece can we come up with now? So I don't know. Sometimes like that's how I felt about like the New Year stuff. I'm like. It's the same shit. Like, how many times do I gotta tell you one meal is not gonna ruin your progress? You know? Like, how many times do I gotta tell you that? How many times do I gotta tell you just, like, I don't know, go to the fucking gym? I'm just kind of, like, how many times can I say, like? But, I don't know. I just get to a point where I just feel like all the content's the same. I need to get back into making, like, gym content stuff and just, like, get in my content routine again. But, I don't know how to explain it. Just... Sometimes I can do gym bro motivational, but sometimes I feel like I'm just like racking my brain for I'm like, okay, like how do I make content? What do I do? It just feels unnatural, so I just kind of like to post whatever I want to post. So that's just where we're at. But I'm gonna finish this, and we, we might possibly talk, or we'll talk tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Good morning. Um, I didn't talk to you at all last night. Sorry. But we have coffee to make, and then we're gonna Orange Theory. Um. I, not gonna lie, I was going to, I was literally in my friend who does the classes, I was in her DMs this morning, I was so close to being like, bitch, but I'm going, cause it's a rest day and I can just get this cardio out of the way, I know I didn't drink enough water yesterday because I was out and about everywhere and I literally have a headache right now, so we're gonna have some caffeine and then, okay, we're gonna need to empty this. We're gonna have some caffeine and some ibuprofen fixes everything. Um, I am gonna have like a couple eggs before I leave, just cause yesterday the class was at 7.30, today it's at 8.30. I don't really know, I did have oatmeal like an hour ago cause I woke up starving. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna do a little espresso Hazelino muffin pod with some cashew milk. And then, Y'all know, y'all know, I'm out of this. No, I have a brand new one. Um, this shit has been so fire. Probably my new favorite coffee mate, uh, Zero Sugar. It's chocolate caramel. And then I always do cashew milk. I don't know, it just tastes better to me. And then I put it in my frother. This is really like such an angle. It's also so bright out today. I do need to get shopping done today. Like when I say shopping, it's not like just for my birthday. I do want to just get some clothes that I feel comfortable and confident in for Hawaii. Um, and so I'm going to get my ass to a mall today. Y'all know how I feel about a mall. These vlogs are literally just me in my house, going to the gym, and then shopping. Um, so yeah, I should probably brew the coffee though. Do y'all have like specific coffee mugs that you like to use like when they're all clean like Kind of like when you act, your activewear that you reach for. Do you have your coffee mugs? Because I have my coffee mugs. And then I also put, I'll put two Splendas in there because fuck it. Um, so I'm going to do that. Make like the same eggs you see all the time. It's like 100 grams of egg whites, two egg peppers. I'm going to eat that with some ketchup. Um, and then I'll get my ass to Orange Theory. And we'll discuss later. All right, y'all. Okay, so super unclear if that entire clip I did this morning was in... 
um, slow motion. Anyways, we're going to Orange Theory. I had oatmeal and eggs because it was at 8.30 today, but this is the fit. I'm wearing just this dark sport. You know those, like, muscle tees? Yeah, one of those, this, dark sport leggings. These are Nike little shoes by Wolfpack. And my hat that I got from Urban Outfitters because it's freezing. Yeah, we're going there. It's a rest day today, and then we're going to go shopping so I can get some stuff for Hawaii. And yeah, but we're kind of late, so we need to go to Orange Theory. All right, bye-bye. Okay, anyways, I didn't talk to you guys last night. Um, I ate my pancakes and went to bed. But we're going to Orange Theory right now. I know I already told you that. Um, the way that when I get ready, I, like, really lean into the whole, like, in my running girly era, like, as a joke. That, like, when I'm getting ready, I'm like, Orange Theory slay! Like, I can't stop saying it. Um, but anyways, we're going to Orange Theory right now. It is a rest day, but this is going to be my cardio for today. And then I will go home, shower, eat, do the things. And then we're going to go to the suburbs. We can go to a mall! Basically what I told you I was going to do yesterday. And then tomorrow is my birthday, so... We're going to do that, but I'm about to get in the highway, so bye-bye. Okay, Orange Theory was a slay. Now we're gonna go to Starbucks. Um, yeah, I don't know, more running, more circuit things. Really, I just like try to do all I can in the running portion because we all know that my heart rate is not gonna be up with those weights. We, we just know that for a fact, so. We're gonna go get Starbucks and go home and shower. Don't know why I'm talking like this. Also, my parking is in like three minutes, but I'm just hoping that nobody's conveniently checking it. Okay, Nespresso is life because, okay, I do understand that I got a, like an oat milk latte, but I got a sugar free vanilla oat milk latte. That shit was $8 for a grande. Like, what? Illegal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat some beef and rice, put an egg on it, because I probably won't eat for like, okay, it's so bright, for like multiple hours. Okay, this is not flattering. Um, but yeah, so I just came on here to complain about my $8 latte. All right, goodbye. I just got a package, but I'm gonna walk in so it looks like I just came home. You guys, we got a package. See how I did that? Okay, anyways, I know what this is. It is from 3D Energy. They reached out to me on Instagram, and honestly, this shit is fucking crazy, y'all. The way that my door is still open. Um. I know influencers get sent shit all the fucking time. Number one, it's kind of weird to like consistently be calling myself an influencer, kind of odd. Secondly, the first time I had a 3D is when I went to the Elfleet gym, not Elfland, but when I was Elfleet before with my friend Morgan in like 2018. I was such a gym noob, like I thought I knew what was happening. I felt like Whitney Simmons and stuff. But the way that I went to Elfleet, like I knew what Elfleet was, like the brand obviously. But did I know who Christian Guzman was? No, she's like, oh my god, it's Christian Guzman's gym. I'm like, who's that? And she's like, bitch, he fucking owns this place. But they sent me, fuck yeah, two cases. I got the yellow one. Okay, it's kind of hard. I'm just gonna show you guys. That makes it easier. I got the yellow one, and then the white, the white one's fire. The yellow one, I think, is like pina colada or something. Fire! I'm excited to drink these, because normally I wouldn't gravitate towards these during like prep, because they have like, I think like five carbs a piece, which... I know to a lot of people it's like, is it really that much of a difference? When you're in prep, five carbs is, no, that's a different ballgame. But, hype for that, but I'm gonna make my beef rice egg ketchup situation, then get ready, and we'll talk probably closer than getting ready. I kinda wanna make like a TikTok get ready with me moment. I should have vlogged today like on TikTok, but obviously I already forgot to do that, so we'll see. Okay, this is the fit. I did my makeup, but I just did little concealer, bronzer, blush, brows, and a little bit of like liner and chapstick. My hair's still wet, so I put this hat back on. Dark Sport, these bottoms are like flares from Bombshell, and then I don't know what the colorway is called, but they're like red dunks, and then I'm gonna wear my black Aritzia puffer and then the same white backpack just so I'm not carrying something while I'm shopping. And yeah, we're leaving. Okay, shit, I didn't figure that out. That was on slow-mo. You guys, the way that I will always have this shit on slow-mo. Anyways, first thing we did was go to a massage place. Because it was right there and I love a chair massage in a mall. Because they beat the shit out of you like I need them to. Homeboy spent, I think, 27 of the 30 minutes on my traps and shoulders. And now I'm in Forever 21, so... Y'all know I love to shop and my birthday's tomorrow, so basically it's my birthday today if you think about it. So, we're gonna see what I find here and then try to find like a Zara, Sephora situation. Y'all know, but this is what we're looking at. Okay. 
Okay, so I had a vision for this. It's like a white denim bodysuit, but this is a common theme with all Forever 21 things. I'm too long and my boobs are gonna fall out, so that's great. Okay, so we're at Nordstrom now. This might not be a birthday fit, but I think I'm gonna get it because it's on sale. It's from Naked Wardrobe, because I can do this. I've got fat on my boobs where I can like pull them together with some tape. And this is cute and ruched. I feel like she looks, you look kind of good, I don't know. I think it's like 20 for the top, 20 for the bottom, so I think we're gonna do it. So, what's up y'all? We got Chipotle. I got this giant Diet Coke. Well, I was just at Nordstrom, actually. You guys saw that set I bought. It was like 50 bucks all together. Honestly, a steal. Um, don't really want to wear that. The other fit, I do want to get some like brown nut leggings, like tights. And that would be, I think they'd be like a cute winter, like with a boot moment, you know? Um, anyways, I got Diet Coke. I got a bowl. I got steak. I got their new, like, garlic steak situation. I normally wouldn't get sour cream on it, but I'm not bringing this home. Why is it so blurry? Oh, this backlight portrait. Sorry, I always look at the viewfinder. It's not stopping anytime soon, so sorry. Um, but I got their like garlic steak, a touch of sour cream, which was really just what a normal sour cream dollop should be. Beans, white rice, lettuce, green salsa, pico. And she looks like this. I'm gonna eat this because I'm hangry. Um, and then. Honestly, I'm probably gonna go home after this or try to find some tights. H&M is like right over there. Okay. This is their new garlic steak. Looks red. Another sleigh of the day. Just got Rockstar parking by my apartment and I don't have to walk in the frigid cold. More than a block. That was really just the first world problem. Anyways, we're gonna go inside now. Toodles. Okay, we're home now. For the best part of my day, when I get to put my slippers on because I am home for the night. It's like literally 4 p.m. But I have a call with my financial advisor. I don't know, I told her when I would get home. So maybe soon, maybe later. And then I need to get on my computer and do some work. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I may have talked about this the other day, but I also feel like when I'm all like, but I'm not like. Okay, so I talked about this the other day, possibly, maybe, or maybe I didn't, so that's why I'm gonna say it again. But I feel like I'm always on these vlogs telling you guys, oh, I'll work on my computer, work on my computer, and you guys are like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, fake influencer, like, what's happening? Um, most of the time, it's like check ins, client stuff, emails, accounting shit, and then it's like influencer stuff, like making that t shirt, which I need to do today, too. But right now, I'm just getting back to some clients. Um, and then I have new plans that start on Monday, so I'm going to go ahead and start those, get back to some emails, and then start designing this shirt. But basically how I have it set up is Monday and Wednesday I have my lifestyle people, people that never want to compete. People that eventually want to compete down the line, those are Tuesday and Thursday check-ins. Um, I don't have that many people on Thursday right now, so it's just a few of them. I did a couple of them this morning, and then they'll respond to me later in the day, so that's what I'm doing is responding back to them from like my initial check-in response. So yeah, that's what's happening. Probably. It's my birthday today. Good morning, world. It's February third, otherwise known as my birthday. It's bright as fuck in here. I'm already put my pants on. We're gonna eat. We're gonna go and train some glutes. A little birthday glute action, and then we're gonna go and get a bacon egg and cheese bagel from somewhere because that shit's like my favorite. And it'll be a nice little post workout, and it just tastes better when I don't have to make it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some. Eggs and oatmeal, eggs and rice. I don't know. And then we're gonna go and hit some glutes. Gotta make some coffee. And then we're gonna go and pick up some birthday bud. If you know, you know. And then we're gonna go get my hair done. And then we're going outside tonight. Um, me, Mel's birthday was a couple weeks ago. We didn't go out, out for a birthday. Celebrating my birthday, her birthday, my friend Ari, her birthday was yesterday. She's gonna come out. So, I don't know. Should be a time. But you guys are going to. I mean, you're gonna come along with me as long as I want you to, essentially. So, we'll see what happens. All right, y'all, we are going to Chicago Bagel Authority. Just hit my glute workout and made a sink video. Oops, sorry. Oops, all right, we're inside. All right, y'all, 
we got a coffee with creamer and two splenda. And then I got the Eggosaurus, which is, I don't know what kind of bagel. It's got bacon, roast beef, onion, Swiss, American cheese, egg, avocado, and chipotle mayo. Look at her. You gotta do it up close. You gotta do it up close. Of opening her. Fire. Now let me break her open. Shit. This is messy. One second. I was gonna do this, bring this home with me. I'm just eating it here, so we're gonna hold my car, doesn't get told my classes, you guys know, stay on. It's kinda spicy, but it's good. Mm. Whoever decided to put roast beef on a bagel, I'll cook you. Okay, next stop, we're going to Everything Bundt Cakes. I got a large one of those cakes for Mid American, but I gave it to my friend because I was traveling, obviously. But I want to get a mini one because I want to get candles because I want to do that one TikTok trend where you like light it and you put it in the candle, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? So we're going to do that right now. Which one does Kenzie want? Oh, the carrot cake one looks fire. Mm. Okay, once again, this is all up in our shit. But, they have candles there. So, I got some cute little candles. And then I got, she was trying to get me to get the Oreo one, but I've just been on such an Oreo vibe lately. I wanted like a white cake. So, since my birthday, I got the confetti one. So I just wanted like a little mini thing that I can put something into. And then she gave me a punch card, which I was like, yeah, sure. I have no business having a punch card here. So where is this going? In the trash, because there's no way I'm going to come here ten times. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go home. Possibly. Am I shocked? Yeah, I don't know. I look like this. We're going to get our hair done. We're at Hair Loft. You guys are called Hair Loft now, right? Uh, or no, with Love Collective Change. Um, we'll see what we're going to do. I got some water then I'm drinking some wine too. Cause I'm, uh, last time I was here I was right before my show. But. Beautiful, thank you. God bless. Okay, we're back from the salon. Before you judge me too harshly, I have no makeup on. And also we did, like, she told me to mess it up when I get home cause it's windy outside. So she's like, I want to keep it like high right now. But it's giving a little Jackie Kennedy. Come on, tell me she isn't. Come on, come on. We went dark. We went back to my roots, if you will. But don't judge it to the full thing's on. I wasn't going to sweet green because I really wanted sweet green, but it was way too busy over there. So I went to Whole Foods. I just got some veggies, chicken, and sweet potatoes. Because we're probably going to get like appetizers at the first bar we go to. Um, it's like 6 o'clock right now, so I'm going to eat this. And then I'm going to start to get ready because I have a couple TikToks that I want to make. So... That's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to eat this taste test of these sweet potatoes. Honestly, they're crunchy. I don't think sweet potatoes should be crunchy. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of underwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Very underwhelmed. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. It's cool because I know this broccoli is about to be fire. broccoli would be hitting. I knew it. Alright, anyways, y'all gonna see me when I start to get ready, probably. I don't know. All right, oh, that's way too in my face vlog. It's getting ready time. We're on live. Everybody say hi. We're always on live in this house. Always. Okay, anyways. Time to get ready. I'm just gonna put my vlogging camera this way so I can get a couple clips. Even though it's, like, worst angle on- Ow! Bro, fuck this! Yeah, we outside tonight, period. Bulky advice. Wake up earlier. Eat multiple meals. Suck it up. Like, that's, that's really what it comes down to. Thanks, Mom. Period. I was actually just thinking about that. Well, I was talking to Jackson, 
and I was like, honestly, it's gotta be like, I know it's weird for you because like I'm your child, but like people like Troy, I'm talking to my mom right now. Um, people like Troy and shit, I'm like, God, that's gotta be really fucking weird. Like just one day your friend has a kid, you see it being born, and the next thing you know it's 25. Like that's kind of weird. My day's been good. Um, lots of cunty time. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest, I've been alone all day. Um I went, well, I woke up, had a little pre-workout meal, and then I went, um, something more full coverage, this Morphe one, um, and then I went and trained glutes, mostly I made a steak video and then trained glutes, and had a long conversation with my friend Anthony about how I'm going to train glutes and how to change my squat, so that was nice. All right, y'all, I have no space in my memory card anymore, but here's the hair and makeup, top Akira. Cargo's Akira, these shoes, you see me wear at the gym all the time, Jordan's, bag is Louis, this crop bomber is Forever 21, I'm sure these are Amazon, so that's it, everything else will be recorded on my phone, alright, bye! Say hi Mal, where are we? Bamba? Period. Bamba? Bamba, Bamba, I don't know, I don't know, we got some dumb things. Okay, this is fried rice. They got us like the champagne thingy. This is lamb shakes. It looks so fire. Right, everyone? We're at Coquette for a birthday shot. We're at Bambula. Boom, oh, sorry, everyone. This is my, this is my makeshift vlog camera right now. So this is Coquette. This is our French side. Two restaurants, totally different vibes. Alright, sup y'all? I did not really talk to you last night at all. I'll put some clips in here. I don't really know how many clips I have. But we ended up going to like dinner at Bambola. And then, um, well, we were celebrating all of our birthdays, me, Ari, and Mel. And then the server, so it's connected to this French restaurant. It's new, it's called Coquette. And they're like, oh, like we have birthday shots for you, whatever. So they brought us behind the bar of Coquette and we had like three shots with them. So that shit was lit. Um, and then we went to, it's called Blind Barber in Chicago. Um, in the West Loop, so we went there, and yeah, your girl was out to bar clothes. I don't know. I honestly feel fine today. I'm honestly shocked. I had a euro earlier, but then I just went grocery shopping, um, so that I can like get my life together, so I don't turn this into like a weekend of festivities. Because your girl's been celebrating a lot lately, and we gotta like bring it together. Um, so I just went and got like the basics: eggs, egg whites, chicken, beef, rice, all that shit. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm 25 now. I don't know what else to say. 25. I have dark hair again. That's pretty much it. Okay. I'll talk to you on the next vlog. Mwah! Bye! Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk